Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this video is top five tactics to dissolve unwanted jealousy. This is what you want, right? Imagine that you are having this beautiful evening with your girlfriend or with your wife and then suddenly there is a jealousy trigger coming in that is going to sabotage the beauty and the power of what you are sharing with her. So what I want to give you here are like you know, the general techniques that you can use to deflect or to dissolve unwanted jealousy outbreaks. So the first one is this, communication. And by communication, it's not just like general communication. It is the idea of setting up check-ins with your girlfriend or with your wife. I call that also a shadow check. So, you know, sometimes when you have an emotion emerging in your system, you are going to be entering into reactive mode and want to share that straight away with her. You might be driving in your car back from a party and you were triggered that evening and then you want to share with her straight away. This is a place where it's a big, big mistake because the context is not safe. It's not secure. She might be daydreaming about something. She might be still thinking about what happened there, or she might be wanting to engage with you sexually. You know, she might be in a different space. So if you attack her or challenge her or give her challenging feedback at that moment, it's going to take her off center and basically create dissonance in your field. So what is wrong there with that style of communication? It's timing. It's just the wrong timing. She's not prepared. She's not open to receive your feedback at that moment. And so what I encourage you to do is to have, you know, something that you can structure is to have a weekly check-in. So it's either just check-in or shadow check, but basically it's a space that is going to last maybe 15 minutes to an hour, depending on how much you have to share, where you have space to give each other feedback. You know, for instance, an ideal time, Saturday morning, you are both free, you just had a beautiful night together, you went out on Friday night, then you wake up on Saturday morning, you're having breakfast, check in. You know, and it's something that you schedule, you set it up in your relationship. It might feel a little bit dry or too structured, but I can tell you that these are the kind of techniques or communication techniques that can massively change the way you interact with your, you know, with your partner. So I'm going to tell you more about those check-ins you know, and communication tactics in another video. But for now, I'm covering just the five core tactics or the core five core ways to, uh, you know, to deflect or to dissolve unwanted jealousy. So here it is again. For this one, instead of just being reactive when you feel something coming up in your sy system that triggers you, you hold back to what you want to say to a time where you are both prepared to give each other feedback. Okay, so this is holding back from entering into reactive mode. Technique number two, positive jealousy. I talk a lot about mastering your jealousy weapons. The core um, mindset in what I'm teaching is that I don't label jealousy as something that is bad. Actually, I label it as something that is good. Jealousy was designed by nature to help us protect what we care for. That's the way I look at it. So this is why I use the terms like mastering your jealousy weapons, because they are a set of skills, mindsets and ideas that you can use to strengthen your couple. So, um, you know, the idea of positive jealousy is the idea that there are sometimes things happening, real threats from other males coming into your field, coming into your couple's field, real threats because they have an agenda, they are interested by your wife or your girlfriend, and the idea for you is to be able to respond to that threat in a way that is going to be effective in creating connection with your wife or your girlfriend and protect your couple from that threat. This is why I talk about positive jealousy, because in a moment like this one, you know, simply being passive and non-reactive might open the door for a potential threat and your girlfriend or wife to connect with that guy. So if you express your jealousy in a positive way by claiming your girlfriend, you know, and maybe having a conversation with that guy, you can go like, hey, 
You know we are together, right? So fucking stay away from her. You see, this is a positive claiming response. It doesn't come from a place of weakness. It comes from a place of power. Like women want to be claimed. They love being claimed. They love when a man is expressing that power and goes like, you're mine. You belong to me. We belong to each other. So you see that in the tone of my voice right now when I'm voicing it, it doesn't come from a place of weakness. It comes from a place of power. And for a woman, most of the times, it's a honor to feel that. Unless you start becoming energetically, emotionally abusive with her. If you attack her, if she doesn't feel safe, then it's a very different story. You see, there are good and bad ways to express your jealousy. Bad ways is the moment where you create distance with her. Good ways is if you create connection. Okay, we'll check more of that in another video again. Another core tactics to dissolve unwanted jealousy, deflection. Again, take the example, you are in the car, there, driving, and then suddenly so you, you remember a trigger in, in the evening at a party where you were, and uh, your natural response, your instinctual response would be like, wow, you know, I feel a little bit triggered by it. You, you were just fucking chatting with that guy the whole evening, you know, you, you guys were flirting, he, he's obviously into you and you loved it and you, I felt really abandoned by you. You know, this is like victimization mode. You are like putting yourself within the blaming, complaining, no, no, no. This doesn't work, right? You know that. When you do that, your girlfriend just runs away from you because she feels the weakness. It's completely non-attractive. So deflection is another tactic that you can apply right there. And deflection goes like this. You feel the trigger coming in, but instead of jumping into the trigger, you are going to change perspective. You are going to start focusing on something else that happened that evening. You say, wow, I had a great time. It's good to see my, my, uh, my buddy again, my friend, or, oh, tomorrow I have a project coming on. Why don't we go on a weekend, you know? So what you do is like, instead of talking about what is burning the rage or the anger that you're feeling right now, you are going to deflect and talk about something else. You are still going to talk, but you are going to bring up something that is powerfully connecting or bonding you with your girlfriend or wife. So it might be a project, it might be a praise towards her. You look gorgeous tonight, I look forward to be back home with you. You see, you are deflecting. Instead of talking about the jealousy, you are still using your speech, you are still voicing something, you are still voicing emotions, but you are talking about something else. So that's a deflection tactic. Tactic number four, power. Optimize your power, increase your personal power. When a man is in his power, it's very hard for him to get triggered by anything. I'm in power. Nothing can trigger me. I'm, I'm on top of the world. This woman loves me. She wants to be with me. I love her. That's it, being in your power. So there are a few things that are going to give you power. Financial independence. Personal body power. You know, if you are out of shape, big belly, feeling miserable about yourself, of course you are going to be prone to more jealousy outbreaks. Of course you are going to feel threatened by guys who are really good looking and attractive, and you see your girlfriend or wife starting to get, you know, attracted by them. Why does she get attracted by them? It's because they express a level of power that is higher than yours. And so basically if you don't want to feel threatened by these guys, what you have to do is increase your level of personal power. And so it's an attitude, you know, it comes from the mind, it comes from being in this mind power zone, but it comes also from practical things that you can do. And one of them is fucking go to the gym, start building some muscles, some presence, and increase your personal power. Financial freedom, again, if you are in a place where, you know, you just got fired, you are at home sitting, waiting for answers for, uh, you know, potential jobs, it's very disempowering. So being in a place of energetic and financial freedom is a very powerful thing, powerful way to increase um, your, uh, your, um, yeah, your, your inability to, to receive, um, you know, jealousy outbreaks. Um, technique number five is find ways of influencing or designing your relationship in ways that really work. So we were talking about communication earlier and doing check-ins. This one is another one which has to do with how do you educate, guide, inspire, offer reflection or feedback 
to your girlfriend or your wife when she's doing something that is crossing the boundary, boundaries of your couple? How are you going to communicate with, that, with her? Are you going to attack her, threaten? Hey, I don't want you to do that again. You know, this is threatening. How is she going to respond when you do that? She's going to re retract and contract. So what you want is to develop ways of influencing your couple. And if you're influencing your girlfriend, if you notice that she's crossing the line in ways that are going to create connection between the two of you. So again, I'm going to cover that in another video in detail, but basically here you have it. Do check-ins, positive jealousy, deflection, uh, personal power, and positive influence to educate or influence your, your partner or your lover. Um, yeah, I'll cover all of this in, uh, you know, individual videos for now. Um, yeah, take care. I'll see you soon for another video.